last week I was showing you how to do a blend chip and how to apply it. And what I want to do now is I want to start making blend chips for the worm. I want to make an angle, which is basically like a smile, but just going up. And then I want to make an expand where your mouth corner goes out. And when you combine those, you basically have a smile, a wide smile. Like this, you know, since normally the smile just doesn't only go up, it also goes outward and then up. So first thing we have to do is, I don't have to weight it anymore because it is already weighted, so that's quite nice. So I'm going to duplicate this off. Unparent this duplicate. I already unlocked this one, but you know, as you remember, this one is normally blocked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt real quickly. A smile. I would normally smile this a little bit different way and not like this by hand. I want to show you that once we are talking about other deformers because I'm going to do most of this now with uh, selections. I'm going in and I'm going to sculpt a smile. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. And I'm going into normal average mode so it points out the normal. You can do that by hitting the W and then going in normal average. And then I can do this a little bit better. A lot of it is just manual work and sculpting those blend shapes. Or if you use a nice deformer for this, it's actually a little bit less work. So now I'm trying to check this out when I smooth it with the three key. This is not very pretty here. Let's just say I would be happy with this. So now I have my blend shape. And I'm going to apply this on this one. Create the form of blend shape. And now I have my blend shape on here. And now as I turn this on, you can see. There we go. Blend shape. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. Now look at this. Ah, why can't I do this anymore? That sucks. Well, this is because the order in which your deformers are actually applied makes a difference. So basically right now, when you do this, the blend shape gets applied and fully turns it in and then it stays and doesn't go with it. You can change this by changing the order of the deformation. Select your mesh, go onto this, which says inputs, inputs to the selected object. Click on it with the left mouse button and then all inputs, all your inputs come. Those are basically everything you see here under inputs, right? The blend shape, the skin cluster, and the tweak node. So those are your inputs, your deformers, what goes in your mesh. And now it doesn't work in this order, so let's just change it. Let's take the blend shape and reverse it. And you do this by hitting the middle mouse button over something here and just moving it up and sometimes it doesn't work actually it's easier to drag it from let's when you go over the bunch of node and go down with the middle mouse button and then let go this is actually easier than when you go from down up and it doesn't have any indication that you actually can do that and this is actually quite important so now as you can see i changed the order and look what works i can do both now that's pretty good. So, if you create your blend shape, you can, in advanced, you can already say what order you want. The default, as you could see, was definitely not working. But you can say front of chain, which would be then at the front of the deformation order chain. And then this is the result you get with this. So, I could do the same thing and change this up to front of chain and then this would work. But most of the time, you don't really check the settings there. And then the only way to change is in here in all inputs. And then middle mouse drag. Don't forget this. This is important. Middle mouse drag. All right. So, and now you can do both. You can deform your worm with this and the blend ship still works.